Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back, everyone, on my video channel. We are still on the series of Agatha Christie ABC murders. We are currently in the second case. Let's continue the story. We are on our way to victim's house. How do you do, mademoiselle? My name is Hercule Poirot. I know you. You're that detective we hear all about. I do not know if that is a compliment, but I will take it as one for now. You are Betty's sister, I believe? Yes. My name is Megan. Can we come in? Please do. My parents are at the police station. I doubt they'll be up to speaking to you later. Do not worry. We will not bother them. Did you know your sister's plans for yesterday evening? No. I arrived by train this morning. My parents called me in a panic when they discovered that Betty had disappeared. She went out last night, but she didn't tell them where she was going. What was your last conversation about? Her new dress. She wanted a pair of black stockings to go with it. Mother brought her a pair. The very day it happened. She was crying. And to think that Betty never even wore them. Poor Mummy. Let's explore the house. The Barnard appeared to make music a priority in their budget. The Barnard or music lover? They are all Miss Modest, but the Barnards are definitely music lovers. Family photos and fires. This gramophone is magnificent. It is a one-off, without a doubt. Did you notice? Whenever Paro uh, repair his mustache, we got eco points. What is she feeling at the moment? Betty's older sister is not just sad, she is angry. Why is she angry? Let's ask her a few questions. Your sister had a fiancé, I believe? Yes, he's called Donald Fraser. A very nice man. Do you know where we might find him? He works at the estate agent's Court and Brunskill. Oh, excuse me, I have to answer that. But of course. Betty's room is opposite the stairs on the first floor. Feel free to take a look if you think it might be useful. Yes, we have the permission to... This young woman is far too clever not to have anything else for us. Do you think she's hiding something? That is what I'm trying to find out. Surely you don't think she did it? 
I did not say anything of the sort. But young women always ruin your judgment, Hastings. Who knows, maybe Megan was jealous of her attractive young sister. I see. She may have had her sights on the inheritance. Or maybe she was in love with Donald Fraser. We have to study all scenarios, even the most unlikely. But I doubt that Mr. and Mrs. Barnard are rich enough to justify murder. While I try and get Miss Barnard to talk, I would like you to try and find Donald Fraser. It should be easy to find the estate agents where he works. Bring him to the Ginger Cats. I would like to talk with him before the Chief Inspector finds him. Let's go to the British room. It looks like Betty was also a music lover, the same as her family. Without a doubt, Betty used to sing. Looking at all the clothes she took out, Betty must have had a problem deciding what to wear. Maybe she had a date. Hmm. A box of new stockings. But he liked luxury and going out. And being as pretty as she was, she probably did not have any problem getting herself invited. This small key should be useful to me. Medicine to prevent voice loss. Did Betty have problems with her voice? A record sleeve with an unwritten title. Betty must have recorded a demo. I'd be interested to hear it. Something on this clock bothers me. Here we go, folks. Another puzzle. There, that's better. Strange. A sheet of paper is blocked in the clock. This decoration appears to be firmly fastened. Let's move it around. This leg is not well attached. I wonder the paper had written on it or not. Maybe a letter? Good. It should be possible to open the wooden panel. Look! A key! This could be useful. What's this? Some kind of code? We have to be observant for this puzzle, maybe. <laughs> what a strange mechanism. I don't think it serves to turn the hands. Oh, I get it. Is it how many times that I slide the thing? Oh, I see.
this woman so busy in her life but actually have time to make a puzzle in her room <laughs> ah something clicked on the front of the clock I open the thing. This could be useful. Betty, I enjoyed a wonderful evening in your company, and I hope that we will see each other again very soon. D. My dearest Betty, I know that your art is already spoken for, but you are the most beautiful dancer I have ever had the pleasure of meeting, and I am impatient to see you again. Adrian. Betty, I enjoy. My dearest Betty. Doesn't work. I must have forgotten a step. I cannot open it. It looks like the mechanism is blocking it. It looks like something goes in here. Let us see, what is this cupboard hiding? There is bound to be a clue somewhere. I heard the sound of a mechanism being triggered. Just have to put the record on the gramophone and start it. It looks like something goes in here. Rest your voice. You're such a killjoy sometimes.
But he was such a good singer. It's true. Did she have any problem with her throat? Yes, she had to be careful with her voice. Of course, she didn't follow the doctor's advice. If Don didn't insist, she... Well, it's too late for all that now. Okay, I think this episode has long enough. We cut in here. Okay, thank you everybody. Inshallah, we'll continue in the next video. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum. -bye.